Hey there YouTubers, it's Don from True Cable coming back at you again, this time to demonstrate the installation of Ethernet Messenger Wire. Now this is something where you're going to be putting up a wire between two structures and it's going to be a shielded cable and it's going to be hooked up from a keystone jack to a remote surveillance camera. Let's get into it. Now first I'm going to show you kind of the install and what's going to be happening and then we'll talk about the cable. Okay, so here's the situation. This is the installation environment that's outdoors. I'm going to be getting on top of this carport roof and the messenger wire needs to attach there and then run its way across to that pole there and then it's going to run down to a surveillance camera which is right there and that surveillance camera is meant to monitor uh, license plates. Okay so when the attachments made at the card port then the wire will run down inside the pipe come through a hole in the pipe and then it's going to run under this carport awning and then it's going to go over to a bundle of cables that's going into the primary equipment in the office for remote live viewing. Okay, so uh, now that we're in a slightly different environment, I'm going to show you about the cable itself and how to attach it to an eye hook because when I'm uh, up on the ladder, I'm keeping my hands free not only to... Uh, to do the actual job, but also it's a safety thing. So it's a bad idea to try to shoot video for, for YouTube uh, while you're up uh, 35 feet up on a ladder. That's just not safe, which is actually the first thing we need to talk about. Um, and please stay with me here. I, I don't mean to be insulting or pedantic or uh, preach, okay? But the number one way people get themselves hurt is through falls. And that's just a fact. And so, especially involving ladders, six feet and above ladders. So if you are working on a messenger run and you're almost assuredly going to be more than six feet up, uh, have somebody else with you. Never do this by yourself. Take it slow, plan out what you're doing, and don't take any risks. Always keep your uh, ladder at enough of an angle so that it doesn't slip out from under you. Have someone with you and watch where the power lines are. Okay, that part's over. Let's talk about the messenger cable. So this is our CAT6 foil uh, overall shield uh, messenger wire. It's suitable for deployment uh, in aerial runs where you don't already have an existing uh, stainless steel, like thin stainless steel rope between two points. And uh, so you're gonna use a built-in mechanism here uh, called the messenger wire uh, that is uh, a, a high strength steel structural member that has been molded into the jacket and you can peel it back and you can snip it so that you can put it in various places. So uh, we're going to do some make-believe. Uh, like I said, I'm up on a pole doing things showing you before and afters, but I'm gonna show you the actual process of you know putting up a messenger cable on an eye hook here. And because you're probably not doing this professionally, uh, you don't have the special tensioners or things like that. Things are, that are out there like that, that professional installers use. So most likely you picked up one of these uh, or something like it. This is an eye hook meant for wood. Uh, you would pre-drill a hole and then screw this guy in using a screwdriver or a metal piece as leverage because it's going to be difficult to screw into wood. Um, it, the other type is the nut and bolt type where it's got fine threads and a, and a nut on there and then you or use an oversized drill bit into metal and then you put the eye hook in and you put the bolt on and you're good to go. Either, either method works. It ends up being an eye hook which you can attach something to which is the point of the process. So you've got this cable and the messenger wire should remain attached to the entire run of the cable. Uh, don't remove the messenger unless you're at the point where you're terminating it or where you need to attach it to an eye hook because you're risking unnecessary damage to the cable by removing the messenger. Uh, it is possible to damage the cable by removing the messenger. Uh, one thing I've seen somebody do is uh, actually like make a nip and then cut into the actual cable. Well, that's gonna, that's gonna kill your cable on you because you don't want water getting in there. And another way is people will get very overzealous and they'll make a nip and then they'll start pulling hard and with lots of slack. 
And what that does is it puts lots of excess stress on the cable jacket that can actually rip it and come off in chunks. So there is a way to strip this back without damaging your cable and to snip it without damaging your cable. Uh, the first thing is snipping. And so what you use for that is a high strength steel rope cutter like one of these. It's a specialty cutter. You can get them at Home Depot, Lowe's, wherever. And it's very high strength, high leverage, and it's sharp, and it's designed to get through strong wire like this. So what you do is you've got your eye hook already mounted on one side and on the other. You've already got your hardware up. And the next step is, is uh, your cable is coming up to the eye hook, okay? Because you drug it up there on you, with you on the ladder, right? And then the cable is going to continue going on. All right, so at what point do you snip the messenger and start peeling it back? And also, uh, which direction should you peel that messenger? Okay, well, if we're on one side of this and the cable's going this way, and let's just assume this is 100 feet long, okay, uh, then what you're going to do is you're going to snip it and peel it this way. And then you'll do actually the opposite on the other side. So we're going to get out our cutters here. We're going to snip into this uh, messenger and carefully grab the messenger, but not the cable jacket. And there we go. All right, so once you do something like that, though, you should carefully check the cable jacket to make sure it did not get breached. So I'm going to check the cut. And the cable jacket is not breached. It's still, it's still uh, fused together. So that's something that's very important, obviously. Uh, and then when you're peeling this messenger, okay, keep as much, you want to peel it at the same spot. Do not get zealous and start going yank like this because what it'll do, like I said, is tear chunks out of your cable jacket. Don't do that. So what you do is you keep your fingers relatively close by each other and you peel like this. And we're going to peel about you know, 8 to 10 inches. Like so. And I'm going slow here so everybody can see the process. And you'll notice that it ripped away from the cable jacket itself. And now you've got a cable jacketed, uh, smooth feeling, uh, relatively stiff wire here. Okay, this is what goes into the eye hook. So what we do next is... You need to put the wire into the eye hook. Remember, this is mounted into a piece of wood. Remember, we're, we're playing make believe here. And you put the mes messenger wire through right up until you just about get to where the rip on the messenger and the cable starts. So, right about there. Okay. And then you're going to need to wrap the messenger around itself so that you've got about three wraps. So we'll go like this. It's not easy to do uh, when I'm not actually on a pole. Believe it or not, this, is, this process is easier when you're up on the pole doing it, despite the safety risks, right? Three wraps is what you're aiming for. If you do more, that's fine, but three minimum. And then keep the excess, okay? Because you're going to use that to secure something else, which is called the loop. So you need to, at this point, because the messenger is down here now and it's over here, you're going to want to loop this excess and then attach the, the excess in a loop and hold it together with that. So being that this is outdoor shielded cable, let's get this back into a position that it looks like when you're up there. Being that this is outdoor shielded cable, um, you're going to want to maintain at least four inches, and this is right about four inches right here. Uh, if it helps you visualize a CD or a DVD, for example, all the better. Uh, you end up with maybe a six inch loop. The problem is not a bigger loop. The problem is a smaller loop because what can happen is that your loop, if it's too small, you may damage the internals of the cable and that would cause you a bad run. And that's the last thing you want to have happen to you because obviously you went through a lot of work, right? So you're going to loop this guy around. And this is not, like I said, it's not easy to show in a box like this. Ugh. All right. 
It's unruly. And you'll figure it out. You'll know how unruly it is when you get to working with it. This, this wire is pretty stiff. So, all right. So let's make sure we got our third wrap there. We've got our, our four inch uh, loop. And then you're going to use the excess here to secure your loop. Just like this. Now, I didn't leave myself quite enough excess because I normally will strip off more of the messenger. But you've got the basic idea. Uh, you'll see it actually in the uh, actual installation where I've got this excess messenger here that's been wrapped around two or three times to hold this loop together. And so the idea is that all of the bearing or all of the tension is on the messenger wire here and it's not on the cable itself because you don't want to overstress your cable. You can stress the messenger, don't stress the cable. And to the destination, you still got that messenger attached and when you get to the other side, you're going to repeat the process uh, and then the cable is going to continue going on downward to wherever it's going. So that's, that's pretty much how you attach a messenger uh, to an eye hook. And so I say, let's see this in the wild and actually get up and uh, get up onto a ladder and uh, go for it. So stay tuned. We're going to go outside and uh, see some traffic and go up high. All right, here we go. Have some fun. Okay, so here's my setup and I'm on, I'm on top of the carport and it's first going to connect there and then it's going to run its way across and then go down. So some of the tools of the trade you're going to need for this particular project are a couple of eye hooks, for example, some cable cutters, a wrench to attach the eye hooks, a drill so that you can drill into the metal pole if that's what you're going to be dealing with instead of wood, and a way to cut the messenger of the actual messenger cable, which is what I described earlier uh, in the uh, little how-to about messenger wire. So let's get this started and I'll show you how this goes. So there's my handiwork putting in an eye hook at the very top of the pole on the carport. So now it's ready to uh, accept the messenger wire. Okay, so we've got the messenger wire attached to one side. Uh, I'm gonna, sorry for the jerkiness, I don't have a gimbal mount in my hand at the moment. Uh, there is an eye hook here. The messenger wire came back through this eye hook, came back on itself. You twist it around three times and you've got a loop and then you take any of the excess wire that you stripped off from the cable itself and you wrap it around so that you can retain this loop. This loop's important because it makes certain that all of the strain is going on the wire and the eyelet. You don't want that strain going on the cable. So as you can see, I can pull this pretty tight, but it's not doing anything to this loop. So that's exactly what you want, but that takes care of this side and we're gonna go to the next one. Okay, so that's where I was at and you can see where the messenger wire is attached. And now the messenger wire is hanging, and I'm at the opposite end, all the way up. I'm on a very tall pole here. We've got an eye hook installed, and it's ready to get the messenger wire attached right here. And then the wire is going to continue down. So as you can see, I am up quite a ways. All right, we have success. The eye hook has been threaded through. I've got at least three, and actually almost nearly four, wrap arounds and then I did my loop that's at least four inches in size and diameter and then I took the excess messenger wire and wrapped it around to retain it then it's going to go ahead and run on down and it'll get terminated to a camera okay so there it is the completed messenger run going from pole to pole all attached and if you'll notice there's an electric wire several inches below the shielded ethernet which is critical uh, to have shielded ethernet and maintain at least a two inch separation. But I decided to take it safe and uh, I've got about a six to eight inch separation going there. So that's pretty much it. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. If uh, you liked it, uh, give us a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, give a thumbs down, subscribe to our channel and you have a great day and happy networking.